Eventually this will stop because we're going to be either out of resources over here or it's going to be out of ember to fuel it. It's clearly getting water, so otherwise it wouldn't work at all. But yeah. There's our better sluice. Kind of rudimentary at, at this point in time, but I'm going to have to think about how to set it up so that it... Uh, it works the way I want it to. And it may... Oh, see, but then that'll put so many heat lamps further into the room. If I rotate it, it'll put the ember and the fluid visible on this side and the items and output on the other side where I could just have the... storage drawers. Now, I've seen someone who had theirs all set up, including a hearth coil, on the... Discord for this pack and it looked really cool. I might look at it and see how I would want to do mine I don't think I would want to copy it of course But I might want to at least look at it And definitely not put it in this room this room is gonna get too hot so this setup Um. That might be, since this is basic resources, we might put that on the top floor. So we would put the embers or the embers or factory up here with the water strainer set up and the hearth coil. And then have the output of the hearth coil go to the second floor here, where I would have storage for all the ingots. And then this area could also have the metal press to make plates when we have power. That's a possibility. Maybe. I mean, like I said, we've got, we've got space. I have, I don't have a problem about space. I just need to figure out where everything's going to go. <laughs> um, goes in there. We want to keep you out because you're nice and fast. And that's an okay sound for now, so we'll leave leave the sound going. See it's already full. That's insane. Well, <laughs> I won't have any problems with the resources for this. That's cool. Anyway, <clears throat> next, let's take a look here. <coughs> so this is the one we also finished by making the fluid hatch that we needed and the machine controller that we needed for the other machine. So we're gonna claim an ember mechanic now. Here's general mechanical power, we read this one. When you attach an axle, gearbox, or actuator in a powertrain, you must sneak click it onto the previous piece. Good to know. What is, what is this? The ember mechanic. It looks like it, you produce power via coal or something. And this is the mechanical, magical mechanical doodad that we converted into a hatch for this one. It looks like water and coal to make. Okay, I'll put you there for now. <laughs> and this is to make the ember bore. And this is to... we made one of these already. <laughs> Let's make another. Mechanical output can be thought of like an automatic hand crank. Sneak clicking a gearbox onto the output will allow any axles that extend from it to spin. 
Uh, this tip sheet will show you an example of a powertrain setup using a steam boiler and steam engine. The setup is even easier using the Ember Mechanic multi-block since it produces its own steam and replaces the boiler and steam engine. Hi Comet Lore! Definitely going to want to look at that. So let's make another one of these. This was the gears. Oh, this one's different. This is an output. We use the mystical mechanical input, which uses two gears. Okay. See, now it's doing something because it's stuffed. It's full. It doesn't have anywhere. It can send things. Um, let's take the shards out. And at least run for a tiny bit longer. <laughs> Yep, still, that's it. <laughs> uh, maybe out of ember too, who knows. But that's fine with me for now. Now that we know how it goes. Okay, modularium, mod, whoop, fingers in the right spot will spell correctly. And those gears, which I should have more of, gar, these. And it was two, like that. Mechanical output. All right, so let's look at this sheet. All right, so we've got a mechanical powertrain consists of a steam source or boiler to provide fuel to the steam engine, which uses fuel to turn axles, which feed through a gear attached to a gearbox. So, using the mechanical one that we have the blueprint for, it removes the need for the boiler and the steam engine. So, keep that in mind. Um, axles would feed into a gear attached to a gear box. If there is a bend in the train or machine actuator, if the axle is feeding into a machine. It's important to note that most axles and gearboxes must be shift clicked onto the previous piece to connect them properly. Simply placing them on an axle instead of shift clicking them will likely prevent that part of the train from spinning properly. More mechanical power means faster operations. Use a merge box frame to funnel multiple powertrains into one output, increasing its torque. This will make your quarry work much faster. Nowhere in this picture is a merge box frame, but I'm... So where would it would show up somewhere along the axle line? Mm. They're red. I wish I could click on them. <laughs> so here's the, the ember core with a mechanical core on top. It's got an actuator next to it with a gear. I can't see where the gear would be. But I'm gonna guess it's right here and here's an axle. And there are gears on both sides. More axle. And this, this part here will be the mechanical thing that we just have most of the parts of it that we just learned about because this replaces that. Which we could use this if we wanted to, but we'll use the other one. Sure. We need to make the ember bore anyway, right now. Um, and then the atom extractor into a chest. Wow! This is interesting! All the fun stuff. Okay. You're nice and quiet now, and you're still chuck full of stuff because I'm not processing it right now. I don't need to. Um, if you see, I've got a lot of ingots currently, so I'm not desperate for resources at the moment. But it's good to know how this is going to be set up. And like I said, I will relocate all of this and once I figure out. I'm probably going to do this on paper. <laughs> Draw it out and figure out where everything goes so that the inputs and outputs line up a decent way to use what pipes and whatnot that we have. <laughs> Woo! That'll be fun. All right, and then this is the furnace, which is the other part of that mechanical thing. 
gather some netherrack to make another furnace and some lava to power the machine. Oh. We can make lava, so we should do that. Um, your ember ore factory and ember quarry both require powertrain set up. Is this the ember ore factory? It doesn't need a powertrain setup. It's running just fine on. Mm. Okay. Uh, so you can either craft two ember mechanic blocks or set up both machines near bedrock. Did I grab any nether rack when we were in there? I did. Um, nether furnace needs glass, a regular furnace, and compressed nether rack. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Might not have enough. I might have to go back. Yep, I only have six. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to the nether. We can make lava. I, I saw on somebody's YouTube playthrough, so we can we won't need to go to grab a bucket of lava from the nether. But we will need to go back to get some more nether rack. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned this, but if you grow one of the nether trees, which is why I grabbed some saplings, I don't think it matters which nether tree, and you hook up an arboreal extractor to one of the nether trees, instead of sap, you get lava. So that's worth considering. Yeah, I'm not sure which, if it matters which sapling, but we did get the dark wood and the ghost wood. I think those are the only uh, ones in the nether besides the blood wood. I guess there's fuse wood, which I don't remember. Oh, I did see it. Oh my goodness, you can do these in the bonsai pots. You just need to do them on top of netherrack, of course. So we can use them for building with. That's good to know. So what's interesting is even though this says produces chalky apples, it doesn't have that as an output for the bonsai trees. And this doesn't produce redstone, even though it, you know, the bloodwood, I believe, produces redstone when you chop it down. I'm not 100% sure. I know it grows upside down. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Good to know. Haha. -ha. So do we go back to the nether even though we're poorly prepared to grab a bunch of nether, nether rack? This will give us the gearbox and the axles to be able to, and then we can do the bore and we need to learn, then we can learn how to set that up at the bedrock level. Grab a bunch and hightail it back home. Yeah, let's make a arboreal extractor and put that getting lava to the test. Arboreal. This guy. So we need the pipette couple of coils, a bucket, lead, and metal fasteners. Let's start out with doing fasteners and a lead. 
plates. And we have a bucket in our inventory, but let's make one, or oh, we'll use that one. Bucket, um, coil. I don't think transmission is one we needed. I know we need conductance. Is the other one reception? Arboreal. Conductance, transmission. So that, we need another conductance, which means we need to make some more wiring. Yeah, make some more wiring. <laughs> Treated wood. Redstone. Aluminum wire. Alum aluminum wire. some sticks which I think have to be made in here and then we can do the redstone wire and then the wiring kits we get six of those great that'll take care of us for a couple crafts and then back to Back to this, we need a pipette, which I've got, and then this needs two copper. And we have an empty pipette in here. So let's make the conductance coil. And now we should be able to make the whole thing, I think, if I... Arbial extractor. We need a piece of nether rack and we need the tree. Okay. And we'll do this over here. Bone meal might work on this. I suppose we'll find out. Yay! And then... Give it some time, see what happens. <laughs> Lava! Woot! lava and we can upgrade the arboreal extractor so it goes faster and all that fun stuff so we have that to keep in mind but yay we have lava without going to the nether because I think getting that close to the lava will be very unpleasant <laughs> uh, we will need to get a whole bunch of nether rack um, where's my hammer do I have one? I do not. I should make one. So we'll be able to collect the netherrack real fast. Um, da, 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 da. You have super cold drinks. Go to you. Take you to get there. Uh, we're gonna leave 
that behind. And that. Yeah, I've got Electrum Armor over here. Electrum. Um. We're gonna leave that behind because we're gonna use our sea moths so we don't need to worry about breathing. This will keep us warm. Or, sorry, this will keep us somewhat cool. We don't we don't have a lot of liners in here. We need to make more liners. But here's a cold drink that will take as soon as we get into the nether to keep us cold temporarily. Oh, well, no, this won't work temporarily. This works if we start getting hot. We have to keep that in mind. Um, and seriously, we're just trying to go in and get out. That's, that's the plan. Do I have cooling gel packs? I don't think so. I think I need to make the cooling goo. Um, Good to know I have some food in here that I forgot I had. Um. Is it pack P A K? Aha! I have one that's currently got three minutes on it. <laughs> it's currently running. <laughs> um, do I have packed ice? I do! I can recharge... Recharge this. Okay, so is it... Um, I'm guessing it might be... There we go. And where did it go? And we'll take the one that's currently running. And see how I do. We're just gonna go. We're gonna run. Okay. And hopefully we don't like get a whole bunch of lava. I had um, night vision.
Wow. Didn't hit a single lava pocket. Yay! Trying to just use up my hammer. There it goes. All right, let's go. Let's go home. We're done. <laughs> Which I recall the uh, spawner we come through, this one, is not the same one that uh, who we've conquered or come through. This is somebody else's, so we have to like... Recalibrate where we are. Ooh, I've never been in there. I bet the other person has. Uh, dungeon pyramid. We'll mark it. See, there's a bunch of people watching the stream. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying. If you are interested, this is the C Block Rustic Waters mod pack, and it is being hosted by the Breakfast Craft team of mature modded Minecraft players. If you're interested in joining, you need to be 18 years of age or older, and I aimed in the wrong spot. And uh I'm gonna freeze. <laughs> Apply for the whitelist. So go to breakfastcraft.com if you're interested in joining a bunch of older modded Minecraft players. And there are four mod packs running all the time, plus vanilla. So you never have to worry about not having something to play. All right. And give me, oh, no. That was fun put you back wherever you came from. Right there? Sure. I'm freezing. Alright. Do I have room in my inventory to put this? Most of it. Let's put this on while we're in the base. You might join when you hit the 18 year old mark. How far away are you from 18? Oh, you're a little far yet. When you get near mid 17s, go ahead and apply and put me in there and they'll ask me if, because, uh, you know, if granted if I'm not around then, but I should be. It should give you a little, be able, able to play a little earlier. <laughs> um, we need to do that. Compressed, we had, oh, was it, how many of those did we need for the nether furnace? Nether, not linked. Another fur nice. We needed glass and a do I have a furnace in here? I have a uh, make a furnace. Glass might be the thing we don't have. Oh good, we do. Okay, let's see. Trader's workshop. We need four buckets of lava. I don't think we have that much yet. I'm not even sure we'd have a bucket by now. Nope, we don't even have half a bucket. So we're gonna have to wait on that until we have, until we have the lava we need. 
can we put you in there? It even says I don't have the glass, which isn't true, but definitely probably need another one of these. Life is so miserable for Hermes. So miserable. Especially since today is the day that changes his eating schedule. It has completely disturbed him. accepts any glass. Okay. This is only switching to the Natura glasses, though. Between heat and soul. So I might have to go back to the nether and grab those. Hmm. I don't think I have any soul sand. Yeah, nope. Can I make it? Nah. So I would have to go back again. And get some soul sand. Or heat sand. Woo. We have plenty of time for that though because I need lava and this is going to take a while. I think this tank holds four, one, two, three, four. So when this is full is when I can make the heat furnace. Woo. Look at that. Okay, so that one, this one here is going to have to wait until we have lava because I'm not going to go pick up four buckets of lava. Just not. We could make the ember bore and get some treasure. Um, steel drill heads. I'll we'll probably have to make some more winding gears. We need four steel drill heads. Let's see what we have if we have winding gears. We have two. Oh, yay! The hopper and these Caimanite. Got some of those and some of those and some of those. And we have a hopper. Alright, can we do this no what is the recipe for that it is in a blacksmith's table with something trowel and the boar needs to be made in the engineer's workshop And the blacksmiths for the steel drills. Got 13. You're chucking away, I just need seven more. Go faster, Mr. Chef. Thank you. Oh, it's not a steel iron rod, it's an axle. <laughs> so I need more steel rods.
Was there? Was that? Go back. Hang on. Needs the hammer. Need to, yeah, okay, oh, 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 okay. Drill head. Or, yay. Now in here to do the bore. We need a couple more of these, which means I'm going to need to make more actual blocks. Okay. I don't know if I need more than six, so let's find out. Looks like I need four. Woo! Number four! Yeah! Now we're gonna need a few things in order to do this, but I'm gonna place it. I, well, I might not be able to place it unless I have bedrock under me. Oh, it placed, and you can't see the bore part because it's down below. Where'd you put it? There, you can see how it digs. Woo. Number four. So we get some treasure. And this is going to ask us to make a mechanical core, which I have one of, but it. Nah, we're going to have to make another one. The bore quarry only has one socket. This mechanical core attaches to the bore socket to act as an extension for up to five more inputs and outputs. The bore runs on mechanical power, so you can attach your ember actuator to the core along with your item extractor to pull out collected ores. And we get a steam engine as a reward, which we already just learned in the previous quest chain here about the mechanical um, thing, this, the ember mechanic. <coughs> so there's a couple of different options, isn't there? All right, the uh, mechanical core. This is more steel and iron. I might be out of winding gears now. And those are whoop, copper and iron gear. We have a copper. I don't believe I have iron. And do 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 that is done in here, I think. Yep. And then two redstone. Winding gears. Mechanical components, those are steel. We need iron. Plates and fasteners. Iron plates. Should have still fasteners left. Um. I just blanked on what we were making with the plates and fasteners. <laughs> These. Yeah. And then we need four steel. Great. That gives us the steam engine. 
And this will give us the mechanical actuator that we need to connect to the other piece. Connect a powertrain to a machine, you need a mechanical actuator. Shift clicking it onto the input of the machine will place the output properly. Attach the end of the axle train to the actuator and place the final iron gear on that side. Okay, see this is going to take me a while to understand. Definitely, oh we need to do more of that stuff. We More and more and more. Always more. See, even Hermes is complaining about that. It's always more! Um... Actuator needs these, which needs those, which needs that. And what else do we need? We need this. Okay. Listen to him go. Just wham wham. We'll have to make a bunch of these at some point. I need to make another one of these. Now, can I make you? Woo. Actuator. Get some money. Oh, a weirding gadget. Feel the chunk load. Your quarry must be placed near bedrock, but not on bedrock. Let's get this stuff away. You must ask me what? Do all cats have that evil look in their eyes? No! I think it's just your experience with cats. We have a basic upgrade, an invar beaker, some silver plates, and platinum boots. Um, from my personal experience with my cats, I had one cat that looked mean to everyone but me. And that was Maximus. Um, Maximus was very much a, uh, if you are not mommy, I don't give a crap who you are. <laughs> you will not touch me, you will not pet me, you will not talk to me, I am not interested. That's pretty much how he was. But he was a sweetheart for me, so... <laughs> But I just knew, don't push him on other people, because that's not the right way to go with him. Um, Loki and Zeus. Um, Zeus has been gone for a long time. But um, they're both black cats, and they have been the most friendly, adorable, loving animals I have ever known. They don't look mean at all. Hermes can look mean. <laughs> Not always, but he sometimes get that look that he's just like, I don't like you. <laughs> so yeah, it's not all cats. Not all cats. I, well, here's another question I have for you though, Infinite. Does, your, does that cat always look that way? Um, the reason I ask is because, unlike dogs, cats do not have as many muscles in their face that they can control. 
and so they can't do as many facial expressions as dogs can. So it may just be the way their face sits that makes them look cranky even though they're not because they can't control all of the muscles to change the way their face looks. So it could just be that. It could just be the way he was made. That he's not cranky, it's just the way, he was, the way they were made. <laughs> do that later. The Weird and Gadget one, I think. So we have to either go back to the nether, wait, or wait for lava, which mm, it might just be me sitting here for an hour. Ooh, we're at a bucket and a half. So not an hour, but sitting here for a while. Um, no. Cats don't mimic their owner's personality. Dogs do. Cats have completely different personalities. So, yeah, I don't believe that one at all. <laughs> like, I'm getting an evil look from Hermes right now because he's hungry. And he, he thinks I'm ignoring him. So he'll make that meow, and then he'll stare at me. <laughs> nope. Nope. I have a fish who has spawned in my <laughs> in my purified water here. I just have a fish trapped. Look at that. Well, that's cool. I mean, to be honest, Infinite, I'm I'm not an expert on cats, so there is a possibility I am wrong. <laughs> All right, so we have two more wings here. Figure out where. Yeah, see, after between streams, I'm gonna have to dig, figure out where to put this setup. Um, and I'm need, I'm gonna need to be able to access or deposit the ingots? Am I gonna need to put the ingots in here, you think? There's no way to connect the easy storage system with storage drawers so they see it, so it's seen in the easy storage. There's no way to do that. Um, we're not using the raw resources here as frequently. I mean, sometimes the redstone. So that's why they're over here, but I have a feeling I'm going to need to use what comes out of our Ember Ore factory in here, perhaps. Right now, this is really, I just use this for storage because most of our bigger crafting is done in these tables. And I would need to have access to all of the resources wherever our tables are. Um, hmm. Quite some thoughts need to go on. Like, I don't want this in this room, but I'm going to need the supplies in this room. And I'm going to need to be able to fill that with ember shards. Yeah. It's definitely going to need some thinking. Um, we don't have a whole lot of money, but like ducts and things, as you can see, are not available except for the lowest lux ducts. Like the item ducts aren't available or anything. You have to buy them, I believe from merchants and those stuff. I, I have very small passive. I have $100 in here. It's currently very small passive. Um, well, let's see. Before I go, let me show you my farm up here. I need to figure out 
automation, beginning automation for this stuff, and then we're going to need to make the the Glacidus portal. I don't remember if that's exactly the dimension, what the dimension name is. So we can go there to get supplies in order to start AgriCraft. But um, I've got a few crops planted. These are where dispensers can go. Um, in our first petal branch off, I'm going to have four of them. And then he, um, here will be a ring connecting all of them into a larger, more larger areas for mass production. This will be for like, oh, let's try to make some fancy, some kind of food or whatever, to just to have little bits of things here. Might even be good for doing the agrocraft breeding stuff here, and then once I have them mass producible, put them out that way. I don't know. Completely, I just, I don't know. I just know I want it to look symmetrical up here. So each one of these is going to be a petal. Yeah. And I like the way it looks on my journey map. Ultimately, I think I might move this viaduct over here, um, like we have the water access here. I might move this over so that and it outputs here somewhere. That they're similar. Zoomies! Yep. Um, anyway, let's see. Before next stream, which this one will be on Wednesday? Pretty sure it'll be on Wednesday. I am going to at least figure out on paper, if not in game, this new setup for resources and then learn about the mechanical power needed for the Ember Boar that we started. we I, I will need to go to the nether and grab some soul sand or heat sand to make that glass. And by then I should be able to make the nether furnace and we can actually make the ember mechanic instead of doing the steam engine um, that's also explained. So yeah, we got a lot of things to do for next time, and hopefully I will be all ready for you. So I hope to see you back here um, Wednesday evening is the next time I stream. Wednesday evening we'll be doing this pack. So I hope to see you back then. Take care, folks. I'm going to go. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!